Hi guys, I've had quite a few requests on how to work with models between Blender and ZBrush so this is going to be a really quick little tutorial thingy that just kind of details the import-export workflow between Blender and ZBrush. So you can see I'm open here in Blender and I've got this blockout model here and it's just a very basic bunch of shapes that I've put together in Blender here and what I generally like to do is I like to take this stuff out to to ZBrush now and to start sculpting it or whatever. So I'm going to select this model here and as you can see it's selected. I'm going to go to File, Export and I'm going to go down here to Wavefront.obj. This is generally the best geometry format for working between Blender and ZBrush. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to save it. Let's say to save it to my desktop here. I'm going to call it Base Mesh and uh, here in the side uh, on the left side of the screen here, uh, what you want to select here is selection only, so that the uh, so that Blender only exported whatever you have selected. Also, if you if your mesh includes UVs, just remember to have that enabled. I generally disable the right materials button here because I don't want to. Why would I want to take materials along to ZBrush? It doesn't make much sense to me. But then again, maybe for you. So just keep that in mind. I generally disable that. Right normals, you can keep that enabled. So yeah, all this other stuff is fine. So for the most part, just enable this selection only and disable right materials. Also another thing to keep in mind is that if you enable polygroups here, uh, what it will basically do is any groups uh, like vertex groups that your mesh might have in Blender, it will also uh, export them to ZBrush for you to work with them there. So when you're happy with your settings here, you can just click export obj and then now you can switch to zbrush and um, i'll show you then how to import it back into zbrush to sculpt it and then export it back out of zbrush into blender again to work with it further there so it's kind of a back and forth thing i i do this quite a lot okay so here's zbrush nothing in the viewport and uh, here on the right hand side you can see a bunch of uh, options here so this one says import so I'm going to hit that I'm going to navigate to my model that I just exported out of Blender here it is basemesh.obj I'm going to hit open and you'll notice immediately nothing happens so this can be confusing to some beginners but um, the thing is ZBrush did import the model I just have to place it in the viewport so you can see on the side here it actually has an icon of the model so all I have to do now is I, after I've clicked import, I click and drag in the viewport and then my model is there. But now you still can't edit it. If you try and edit it now, weird stuff happens. It'll make another one if you try and click and drag in the viewport. So just undo that. Just click and drag once and before you do anything else, just hit T on the keyboard or press this little edit button up here. And once you've pressed this or pressed T on the keyboard, your, edit, your model will now be sort of uh, editable and you can scroll around it and start sculpting it and doing whatever you want. So um, that's probably the most confusing part for people who are uh, just learning to import stuff into um, ZBrush. You have to press T uh, before you can actually start modeling uh, the uh, or sculpting the imported mesh. Also, another thing to notice is that if you just clicked and dragged your mesh onto the canvas and you create another one and then you undo that you won't be able to go back and edit this one you'll have to undo this one as well and then create a new one and then uh, start editing it by pressing T now this can be a bit confusing but one thing to know is that once you've edited this and then you go out of edit mode and delete it if you click and drag it again, uh, you'll notice that it has kept all your changes. So ZBrush sort of works with models in this way. So you can edit this and do all kinds of things on it, um, but it will keep your changes even if you go out of edit mode by pressing T. Even if you delete it from the canvas, if you redrag it in here, it will keep your changes and it will keep your undo history and everything. So um, in summary, just remember to to once you've imported your model just click and drag it here and then immediately press T on the keyboard 
and then you'll be able to you know, to then do whatever you want. <coughs> now, let's say you have another model uh, in Blender that you also want to import into this same scene. So I'm going to go here to Blender, and I'm going to add in another model here. Let's just say uh, I don't know a cube, right? And I want this cube to be sort of right there. And I'm going to scale it down a bit. Let's say it's a hat, right? Um, so this cube I also want in, in this uh, same scene in ZBrush here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cube. I'm going to go to File, Export, Wavefront.obj. And I'm going to call this Hat Cube. And remember to make sure that selection only is enabled. And I'm going to hit export. Now I can go back into ZBrush and I can click import and I can select my hat cube. And when I do that, oh, a disaster happens. My original model disappears and my hat cube now replaces it. So this is a bit of a confusing thing as well. So what you've got to do is you've got to um, control Z, undo that, and just before you import, switch to a different sub-tool here. So you'll see here these buttons over here, and if you click on one of them, it will switch to a different sub-tool. And um, you can still go back to your original one here, but you have to switch to a different one. And now click Import, and import your hat cube. And so it replaces that uh, original cylinder that we had there. And now I have the hat cube in here, and the body mesh in here. So I've got the two of them sitting next to each other. Now all I need to do is to combine them into the same sub-tool. So what I do to, to do that is I go here to the sub-tool um, menu here and expand it here. And down here is a button that says in Append. So notice that I'm now on my body mesh. So Or I can do it with a hat cube as well. It doesn't matter which one. So I can select one of them, hit Append, and then import the other mesh that I want in here. And now you can see it's perfect and it's exactly like it is in Blender. So, also you can import whatever else you want. So this means you can import as many models as you want. Let's say I've got another model here and I can export this one as well. I'm going to call it Hat Cube 2 make sure selection only is enabled down there, export obj, and now I can import as many of these as I want by going up here to import, hat cube 2, open, and I've got it here, and I can just go back to my original here and hit append, hat cube 2, and I've got both of them in the scene. So this way you can import as many models as you want. It's just a little bit confusing because the moment you import it, it replaces whatever else is active. So make sure you have one of the default objects activated before you import any new meshes. Also, now that I have all three of these objects in the scene here, I can switch between them here and you'll see that now I can um, edit them separately and do whatever I want with them. Okay, so now let's say I've got my body mesh here and I have edited it a little bit and I've perhaps done a dynamesh on it, smoothed it out a little bit, done some editing. And now I want to export this mesh again to Blender. So I have to make sure I've selected it here in the subtools bar and then press export and I guess I'll just uh, replace the original base mesh. So I'm going to replace that one there, save. It's going to ask me if I want to replace. I'm just going to say yes here. Now I can switch to Blender. And let's move this to another layer. And now I can go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ. And I can import my base mesh here. And when I hit Import, it's got it in here. But now you'll notice, of course, that it didn't import the other two meshes. Uh, these are still the original ones. Let me just move them away. So it didn't import the, the other two meshes. It only imported the active sub tool. So if I want to import those two as well, I've got to go and do them individually. 
Now if I wanted to uh, export them all at once, there are several ways I can do that, but probably the easiest way is to go up here to the plugin flyout and go down to the transpose master uh, section and then I'm going to just hit T pose mesh. What this does is it combines all the meshes into one sub tool and I can export them as their own like one big mesh. Save it out, switch back to Blender, let me delete this. Now file import and here's my combined mesh, import OBJ and now it's got all of the three of them imported together. So um, if I want to separate these again, I, all I need to do is go to the plugin, T pose mesh to sub T and it'll separate them back out again. So that's pretty much how import export works in ZBrush to Blender. I do this a lot every day. I'm constantly importing and exporting different things from Blender to ZBrush because I like to use both programs together uh, like to get the best result. So I hope this helped a little bit. I hope you sort of understand where, what I'm getting at with all of this. And um, thanks for watching.